The sequel to the 2020 election is officially set as the president and his immediate predecessor secured their party's nominations. Biden and Trump have set up a political movie the country has seen before, even if the last version was in black and white. The last presidential rematch came in 1956 when Republican President Dwight D. Eisenhower again defeated Adlai Stevenson, his Democratic opponent, four years prior. Trump is heading toward the general election with some warning signs. Voters in the Republican primaries tend to be more conservative and voters in the general election will be a much more diverse group of people that Donald Trump must appeal to. Trump is also coming to into this election with unprecedented legal challenges. He faces four criminal cases with more than 91 charges. However, he also has a set of strengths that he carries with him as well. And Trump has a perception among some voters as being stronger on the economy and his voters are still grappling with issues such as inflation and also high food prices. Donald Trump also has some strengths going into the general election. He was out early talking about the challenges at the border, which has become a bigger concern for voters of both parties heading into November. He also has been able to avoid some of the questions about age that Joe Biden is facing, even though he's only a few years younger than Joe Biden. Donald Trump also has a perception among some voters as being stronger on the economy, and his voters are still grappling with issues like inflation, high food prices. That could be something that plays to his advantage in November. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden has secured enough delegates in the Democratic primary to once again become his party's presumptive nominee for president. The 81-year-old incumbent president is broadly unpopular, with deep reservations in both parties about his ability to assume the presidency for another four years at his age. Biden is also struggling to replicate the coalition that ushered him into the presidency four years ago, as some in his party, particularly on the left, have condemned his handling of humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza. 